Hi everybody, welcome back. This has been an incredible week. All the different Disney drops and decon is going on right now. Today I wanted to take a little bit different look at uh, the VV market rather than just individually looking at uh, particular NFTs, but look at it from kind of a 10,000 foot level. Um, I think we really learned three things this, uh, this week. Let's get to it. Yeah, this week has been incredible. I mean, uh, I think there's been an influx of you know thousands and thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of new users. There's been a lot of positive press. I wanted to think about it more as VV collectors, NFT collectors. What did what I I really do feel like this is going to be looked back on as a landmark week in the next evolution of the NFT adoption uh, life cycle. I kind of identified three things that I was impressed by this week. Um, I think it all bodes well for us. And uh, let's get into it. The first one, uh, as you recall, is uh, the initial drop, which was Homer and, uh, and the skateboard. And we knew that there was going to be you know, a ton of new people joining, a ton of new people interested. And unfortunately, if you recall, that drop didn't go so well. There are a lot of technical issues. I think there's a lot of issues with the login server, so people couldn't log in, and the drop was just messy. Uh, a lot of criticism from content creators uh, on Twitter, etc. There's always some criticism, but you could tell something, you know, that one didn't go well. And I think it was just the pressure. I think we all realized that that one needed to be cleaner, and Vivi did too, and unfortunately it didn't go. But what did we learn from that? Well, what we learned is that, A, they responded, and... Uh, and said, hey, this was the issue, which I thought was great. And it got smoother. That's the most important thing, right? They didn't just say that they were able to really, once again, we're unclear whether you buy more servers, get more, you know, I, we don't know exactly what they do behind the scenes, but whatever they did, it progressively got smoother throughout the week. In fact, the next day you could log in. So they had fixed that. And then there were some issues, if you recall, at least for me and for others, where when you were buying it, there were some really uh, odd things that were happening, and even those ended up getting smoothed out throughout the week. And it went from more, I mean, there's still people that were unhappy with certain technical issues, but it was more about I didn't get my drop, which that's going to happen as we know these things are relatively scarce compared to the people who, compared to the number of people who want them. So I think that bodes well. Uh, there's going to be other technical hurdles. I mean, obviously, the immutable X the MTL, all these different things that they're trying to pull off the VV verse. I mean, there is going to be a ton of stuff. And I think that as a person who's been involved with uh, technical startups and uh, huge ramps in which there are a lot of adoption, it's, uh, it's painful behind the scenes. And I think they're doing a great job. Okay. Number two, number two was, um, I mean, it was a complex week. I've only been really following the app for about two months. And um, I've heard, you know, back in the day, they used to do a drop every week or every other week or something like that. And I mean, they are, I mean, they did massive drops every day. The drops were blind boxes. Obviously, the blind boxes was, you know, had two different NFTs, but they were able to manage it. Um, and now, you know, yesterday, as you know, they had multiple drops, really complicated yesterday, four different drops. They had the Disney one, which was arguably the biggest one ever. Then they, right after that, they went to the decon ones, which were, from my knowledge, executed pretty well. Uh, one of the things that I mentioned in my other video, which was interesting, which they're going to have to figure out, I believe, is they, I think they mentioned they have to bring down the market during the drop because of server load. And I was unclear of why that was. And maybe I didn't, maybe there's more to it. There probably is more to it than what I'm saying here. But it's, I think they're going to have to figure that out because now they're having so many drops and the marketplace is going up and down and I think newer users don't quite understand that. They might have, I initially when that happened when I was um, when I was a, a new user, I didn't even know there was a drop going on, so I didn't understand why they were bringing the marketplace down. So I thought there was continual errors with the marketplace. So it's like they, that message needs to say something like the marketplace is down because there's a drop or something like that, rather than what it says right now. Because I actually just thought the marketplace was just having so many errors; it was just going up and down, up and down, and I didn't under. I didn't get it. So, you know, messaging has to be cleaned up. Uh, the app is cumbersome. It's slow. We know these types of things. And I think, 
I think they have a new one ready to go. They didn't want to change anything because of Disney and Decon and they just didn't want to mess anything up. So which I totally, I totally understand that. And the third and last thing I would like to say is that as a person who is involved in the VV community and, and uh, makes videos, obviously, uh, it's kind of an echo chamber. So you say, oh, this is going to be great. Disney's awesome. It's going to sell out, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be huge because we just echo that back and forth to each other and we get all hyped. And But this week could have could have been a disaster. There could have been a lot of hype around it and we couldn't have, we could have, it could have been bad in terms of the amount of new users that we saw, but that was not the case whatsoever. We saw a huge amount of new users. I even saw it on my channel. All And I can tell because of the comments that people put in the uh, video. They were more questions about, I can't get my money out. They don't even know enough to call it the MTL, which is fine. Once again, I, I have no problem. That's part of my job or what you want to say it as a, as a content creator to answer those questions to try to help out. I encourage those types of questions. But you could tell there's a lot of new users. So it lived up to the hype. Um, I know there are some uh, grumblings from different people that they thought perhaps some of them, some of the NFTs, like the Star Wars ones, would be worth more. And uh, I think they will be. I mean, and you can see that right now. Um, a lot of the Disney NFTs are going up. Obviously, the partner one with Mickey is the you know crazy one that jumped right away to 2,000. I think it was at 3,000 plus. It might even be there right now. And that one is you know going to be a super valuable one going forward. And that's exciting. I mean, that's what we want to see. We want to see two things. We want to see lots of people getting involved, collecting, um, making some money because that's part of it. That's fun. Um, and having a great time and experience. That's what we really want. And that was achieved this week, I think. Um, I know some people were unhappy. They were not able to get the drops. And that's, it's always rough to, get, to not be able to get the drops. But, I mean, that's part of it. There's always, there's always going to be another drop. There's always going to be another NFT, you know. And I was talking to some people yesterday. That I didn't get the Mickey Mouse one. Obviously, I tried for it. I told you my budget was uh, the top end of it was 1500 and it, it went out the door at 2000 which was kind of my prediction, if you recall. And um, I couldn't afford it. I mean, actually, I could afford it. But, I, you know, it's there's always going to be another one. You know, they're going to drop Luke Skywalker and everybody's going to go crazy. Or as the one I have, I've always continually talked about and I will continue to talk about is Darth Vader. They're going to drop Darth Vader. It's going to be huge. And that leads to my uh, final part, which I am doing more numbers on and I'm going to try and do this week, is the um, master collector program how does that play into it and as you can see now if you really really wanted to go for something um, throwing down points to try and get that but I actually have a different strategy now that I was, I'm going I'm to talk about because I don't know if you're going to be able with your points to outbid some of these huge uh, whales and krakens because they're going to have a bunch of points especially in the first six months but even going forward I think they're just going to have an overwhelming amount of points. I've done some numbers on that, of course, because that's what I do. I'll be bringing that to you guys. I really appreciate all the support. As I mentioned, my channel has been growing really, really fast, so that's really fun for me. And um, let's let's keep talking. I'll talk to you guys all soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.